everyone, and thank you so much for joining me today. My name is Mademoiselle Lena, and you can find me online at www.conjurenits.com. Today, we are here to do the Capricorn Terrascope for June 2021. We are going to be using the Supernatural Join the Hunt Tarot by Minerva Siegel. Before we get started, I would like to say thank you for viewing my video. And if you haven't already done so, please consider subscribing to my channel. Hit that subscribe button, smash that like button, and click on the little bell so that you'll receive notifications of when I go live or upload new videos. I do try to stay pretty busy here on my channel. I do all 12 zodiac signs for the monthly telescopes. On Sundays, we do Conjure Crew with myself, Mambo Tanya, and the Black Bonnet Witch. On Mondays, I upload the weekly forecast. Every day, I do a card of the day reveal. On Wednesdays, we have the virtual book club, which we are currently reading Enchantment of the Fairy Realm by Ted Andrews, and it has been so much fun, so you're really going to want to join us for that. I randomly pop on and do free readings, and from time to time I also do Pippa Time, which is basically where I take my little dog for a walk and talk about random stuff. So I really have a lot going on here, so if you'll click that little bell, you'll get my notifications, and you'll always know what I'm up to. Well, I feel like I have rambled on long enough, so without any further ado, let's go ahead and get started. Card number one. What is the challenge for this month? And we have... Nine of Bones. The Archangel Raphael fiercely fights to become the new ruler of heaven after Michael's defeat. A traditionalist, he sees this position as his right. Nine of Bones advises you to defend and protect what is yours. Don't let others come between you and your goals. It's time to get clear on your boundaries and stick to them. Card number two. What positive energies can I embrace this month? And we have... The Nine of Pentagrams. This indicates wealth, material abundance, healthy finances, and the satisfaction of living comfortably, knowing you have everything you need. Card number three. What negative energies do I need to negotiate this month? And we have... The Eight of Bones. They are advising you to embrace inevitable changes and transformations. Sometimes they even suggest you're heading into a busy, hectic chapter of your life. Rather than getting overwhelmed, Things will be easier for you if you go with the flow. Card number four. What do I need to make time for this month? And we have... The Page of Goblets. This represents a dreamer who's fueled by their own curiosity, like superfan Becky Rosen. Becky gets swept up in her romantic fantasies, and sometimes she loses sight of reality. The Page of Goblets advises you to keep dreaming big, but make sure your feet are on the ground. Sometimes, hmm, sometimes this heralds the start of a new close friendship or relationship. Card number five. What opportunity should I seize this month? And we have... The Lovers. When Sam's girlfriend Jessica is killed, Sam is faced with what is arguably the biggest decision of his life. 
He must decide whether to avenge her death by becoming a hunter or to choose a normal human life. The lover symbolizes a major life decision or crossroad. It, um, it depicts a harmonious union, friendship or partnership. However, within this partnership, there is an important choice to be made. When you find yourself faced with a life-changing decision, the lovers advises you to listen to your heart. Okay, my rambunctious rams, let's take a look at the bigger picture here. Card number one, what is the challenge for this month? And we got the nine of bones. This is Raphael. He is defending his right to take over heaven. It is his place. He feels that this is what should happen. He feels it in his heart. He feels it in his soul. He is defending what he believes is his. He is telling you to stand up. Be strong. Take back what is yours. Take back your voice. Do not let your voice get lost in the crowd. If you believe with all of your heart that this is your position or that something belongs to you, or that your opinion is right, speak your mind. Let your voice be heard. Okay, card number two. What positive energies can I embrace this month? And we got the nine of pentagrams. You are abundant. Let me say that again. You are abundant. You are prosperous. You have everything that you need, whether it be money, whether it be happiness, whether it be fame and fortune, whatever it is, you already have it. You have enough. Even if it's happiness, know that you have. You already have it. You already have it. I can't stress that enough. You are abundant. You are prosperous. Okay, let's keep moving on. Card number three. What negative energies do I need to negotiate this month? And we got the eight of bones. Now this is telling us, um, eight of bones is talking about, kind of, you know, just going with the flow, being all casual, things like that. Well, this is something negative this month for us, okay? We don't need to just go with the flow anymore. Let's look at back at card number one. Raphael, what did he tell us? Speak your voice. Stand up. Be heard. Defend what is yours. Sometimes it's okay to go with the flow. Sometimes it's not. Sometimes you need to speak up. Sometimes you need to stand up, all right? Let's keep going. Card number four. What do I need to make time for this month? And we got Becky Rosen, the Page of Goblets. Well, what does Becky do? Becky dreams. All right, everything in life, whether it be a house, a car, money, whatever it is, all starts from a dream. So dream big. You dream, you, you focus on that dream, and you manifest it into reality. But it all starts with a dream. So why not dream big? Really, really, really make time to dream this month. Whatever it is. Do you want a new house? Do you want a new boat? Go online. Start looking for them. Go through all the different houses. Go through all the different boats. Find out exactly what it is that you want. What is your dream? This is a dream, so make it big. Don't settle for less. Dream big. Dream big. All right. Card number five. What opportunities should I seize this month? Well, 
Here we go. All right. This could be a relationship. It, it very well could be. But it also could be a choice. Now, remember, they're telling us, stand up, let our voice be heard, do not go with the flow. Dream big, we already have everything that we need, but we can still dream, we can still want more. It's human nature for us to want more. But when it comes down to making a choice, this is about a life-changing choice here. Okay, it, I mean, you know, buying a house is a big investment. That could be a life-changing choice. So you need to do your research. Lay out all the pros and cons and make an informed decision. But don't go with the flow. Don't procrastinate because this is a decision that has to be made. All right, so, but make it an informed one. Like I was saying, do your research you know, lay out the pros and cons, be informed about it before you make the decision, but still, you do have to make the decision. All right, Capricorns, I hope that this reading has resonated with you and will help lead you and guide you throughout the month of June. If it has helped you and you feel that it will help others, please feel free to share this video. And if you would like a more personal and in-depth reading, you can go over to my website at www.conjurenits.com. Click on the link at the top of the page that says book a reading and I will talk to you soon. Alright guys, I hope you all have a very beautiful and amazing month. Love you bunches. Bye bye.